Hello everyone, this is Manali and I welcome you all with a very big heart. Children, today's lesson is entirely about useful microorganisms which is a very important topic from the chapter microorganisms. So let's get started. Microorganisms are considered both a boon and bean to us. On one hand, they are useful in many activities and on the other hand, they also cause deadly diseases. In this section, let's see examples of those microorganisms which benefit us. Here we are going to start with bacteria. Some bacteria are used in medicine, in the production of antibiotics, serum and vaccines. An antibiotic is a chemical substance produced by a living organism which can stop the growth of some disease producing bacteria and fungi. Serum means blood plasma from which fibrinogen has been removed. It contains numerous chemical substances including antibodies, antitoxins of a particular pathogen, etc. Children, serums are used as a preventive measure against bacterial invasion. For preparing serum, a small dose of bacterial toxin is introduced into the body of a healthy animal such as a horse or a cow. The body produces antitoxins to neutralize the effect of toxin. After several injections of the same toxin, the blood of such animal is taken out. On chilling, it gives a clear uh, liquid which separates out from the clot and is called as serum. You must have heard about antivenoms. Snake bite treatment involves injecting particular antivenin produced from the blood of the horses in the same manner. Now, come to the topic antibiotics. Children antibiotics such as streptomycin, chlorotetracycline, erythromycin etc. are developed from the bacterium streptomyces gracis, streptomyces oreophacens, streptomyces erythraeus respectively. Two common vaccines obtained by growing Bacteria are TAB vaccine which is used for typhoid and BCG vaccine used for tuberculosis. Let's see what a vaccine is. A vaccine is a preparation consisting of vacant or dead germ substances which when injected or swallowed inside our body leads to the production of antibodies. These antibodies remain in the body to protect it against any future attack of that particular germ. You must have heard about curdling of milk. This is also done with the help of a bacteria called as Lactobacillus acidophilus. Rhizobium bacteria present in the root nodules of leguminous plants help in nitrogen fixation. Acetobacter, which is also a kind of bacterium, is used to make vinegar, wine and fruit juices. Certain bacteria are also used to make the final product in tobacco and in the coffee industry. Some bacteria acts as decomposers and helps to keep environment clean. Certain bacteria 
help in the digestion of cellulose in the ruminants such as cow and buffalo we cannot digest cellulose as we do not have cellulose digesting bacteria in our body bacteria are also used in tanning and leather industries not only this even to treat diabetic patients insulin is produced using bacteria on an industrial scale there are some bacteria which are involved in production of vitamin b capsules let's see how fungus are is useful to us children the very first antibiotic was discovered by alexander fleming in 1929 from the fungus penicillium notatum agaricus or mushrooms are most common edible fungi many types of cheese are treated with fungi to produce a better flavor yeasts are used in breweries to make beverages such as wine and beer yeasts are also used to set the dough to make food items like breads cake pizza base etc like bacteria some of the yeasts are also involved in the production of vitamin b capsules algae red algae yield algin which is a gummy substance used to thicken cosmetics and even food items like ice creams jellies chocolates etc agar is a substance which is also obtained from algae and it serves as a solidifying agent and is used in microbiological research unicellular algae chlorella contains a lot of proteins fats vitamins and minerals and therefore are widely cultivated and used as food supplement another unicellular algae diatoms after death get deposited at the bottom of the water reservoir forming the deposits called as diatomaceous earth this diatomaceous earth is highly absorbent and fire resistant and has many industrial uses diatoms are also used to make crockery and other building materials some algae such as nostoc and abena helps in nitrogen fixation there are some red and brown algae which are also used as biofertilizers alga sargassum is used in manufacture of artificial wool in japan algae growing in water photosynthesize to produce oxygen which is utilized by aquatic animals let's see how protozoa are helpful to us even some protozoa help in purification of water by feeding on putrefying bacteria in various water bodies protozoa floating on the plankton of sea provide directly or indirectly the source of food supplies to man fish and other animals some protozoans are also useful in treatment of sewage some protozoa live in the body of other organisms and help them for example termites have certain protozoa in their bodies which help them to digest cellulose present in the food eaten by them so children this brings us to the end of the lesson i hope the lesson is going to be 
यूजफुल फॉर यू ऑल हैव अ ग्रेट डे अ हेड सी यू सोन बाय बाय